Hey everybody, Shroomscapes. Isolate and chill. Today I wanted to come to you with a quick video on the dry bags from Osprey. There's lots of different sizes and uh, what I was really looking for, I could not find online anywhere, is actually the physical dimensions of the opening. Um, and so I, I literally just started buying them until I found kind of what I wanted knowing that I would definitely use these in the future anyway but I like Osprey so I just wanted to go with them what I found the finally found out was this 1.5 liter will fit a Stanley Adventure cook kit and a 550 Tokes pot mug um, of course I always try to throw half a bandana in between stuff so it doesn't make a lot of noise and that always comes in handy in the field but a whole bandana is kind of too much so to show you not that you need to cook keep a cook kit dry I just wanted to keep it contained and this definitely does it now Osprey if you're wanting to go for the actual dry portion of the dry bag Osprey and lots of other manufacturers tells you you have to roll this three times. I can't roll it three times with this cook kit in it, but I don't need to keep it dry. I'm just trying to keep it compacted together. So there's the size. Actually, I'll pull this back out for you. And give you some measurements of each of the dry bags that I own, some rough measurements. Six and a half inches across. So you're looking at a little bit three inch diameter. Um, six and a half by about nine and a half is what that is. That's the three, uh, 1.5, here's the three. Eight and a half across. It's about 10 inches down to the end of the bag there. The rest will just be taken up by the bulk of your gear, but that's the measurement down to the seam. 10, 10 and a quarter. Start 10 and a half. For the six liter, 10 and a quarter by 13 and a half, down to the seam. The 12 liter is 13 inches across. About 17 inches from the seam here where you roll it over down to this gray seam. All the Osprey bags that I have, I have this really neat loop so you can hang them off your pack or whatever if you need to. Um, I'm not going to hang a 12 liter or 20 liter or a 6 probably, but you could definitely hang a 3 Nano Puff or something in there. And then the 1.5 you could hang if you wanted to. And um, this is definitely, if you roll it three times, this is definitely good size for any normal phone I've seen. Any smartphone, small cameras, uh, keys with key fobs. You don't want to get wet. Uh, fold it three times, four times, and you're going to get some pretty good water protection. Uh, it's blowing out there. Uh, pretty cool bags. So I've not done extensive tests on them. I can't say that they're perfect, but they definitely work well for me. And like I said, I just couldn't find anything online. And I wanted to put the information out there for everybody to know so they don't have to do like me and just keep buying them until they find the right size. Not that it hurts anything, but maybe uh, this video will help you find the exact one you need right off the bat. So God bless. Come back and see me. Merry Christmas.